With Honey in Minecraft, now the possibilities for creating awesome and fantastic redstone builds, just normal builds, interesting contraptions, has really expanded. So here are five builds that you should build inside of your world. So here we are inside of Minecraft and we have a few builds here that can only be done with Honey, I love it. So first off, this is an elevator design and it is super simple to use. You just walk up to the corner of this honey and then wham, bam, you are teleported all the way up to the top and you can just step right on off. What's cool is there is like no roof here and you can also like, you know, catch it from wherever. So you just stop right up here and then you just walk right off. So the way that this is uh, working is that honey, you actually walk into honey a little bit. Honey isn't a full sized block. So if I place honey down and then I place a normal block next to it and I stand on it and I move between the two, you can see that I go down like just a little bit. There's just a little bit of a little, anybody, anybody amount of movement right there. And that's because the honey block doesn't take up the size of a full entire block. So what you can do is right back here, we have some water and some soul sand. So this is creating one of those crazy bubble columns where you like flow directly upwards in it. And this is what is pushing you to the top of the elevator. So you walk back here, you step a little bit into that honey, then the water will grab you because that is a full block and will push you to the top. Then up here at the top, we have some solid blocks. If those blocks weren't here, woo, we'd go all the way up to the top and just chill out here uh, once we were all the way done. But if we add those solid blocks, it's a nice way to stop. You could also add a ceiling if you wanted to, but it is not required because those solid blocks will keep you there. And then you just need a way to dismount off of the elevator. And that's why we have these half slabs because you'll just walk towards one of the half slabs. You fall a little bit, but the honey will grab onto you. So you fall slowly with honey if you didn't know that. Well, now you do. And then you can walk onto that half slab. A few things to note. One, this block cannot be a full block. Otherwise, let me make sure I'm not flying. Oh, I am flying, hilarious. So if you walk towards this, you may get caught on the edge of that block and then you will hit and fall. And it's really, really sad to do so. So make sure that that is also a half slab if you're going to have that there. And then also you may confuse people if this is a slab because you cannot make this jump from the edge all the way over to that block right there. So you should try to aim for the side. That's why you're using honey to your advantage to sort of walk off of that block. So that's why I had that set up in such a way that you wouldn't be encouraged to do it. If there's a big old block in your face. You're gonna walk off to one of the sides that you can see and easily dismount off of that. So it's a really, really nice uh, elevator situation. The next build is a uh, is really cool that the honey block in a uh, with a cauldron on top will hold whatever is inside of that cauldron. So what's going on here is that whenever you're standing on a honey block, you actually can't jump. You only jump like. 15% of what you normally jump. And so these chickens that are chilling out in this cauldron right here, they cannot actually get up and leave the cauldron. And you saw what just happened there as I walked close, I was able to pick up some eggs. Well, that's because they're laying eggs in this crazy thing. So the next little upgrade to the situation is to put a hopper minecart underneath them and the hopper minecart can grab items above it. So this will grab the items that are sitting in the bottom of the uh, of the cauldron right here. And then that will transfer into an actual uh, hopper because a hopper minecart can go into a hopper. And then the contents go down into this chest. So I don't have a ton of chickens up here, but they are producing some eggs. So naturally I was thinking, okay, next step is to take this and apply it to a normal chicken farm. This is a chicken farm that's been around for a very long time. I, 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 to be honest, I remade it myself and I don't, I can't remember if I used anyone else's design or not. If this is someone's design, I apologize for not crediting you uh, correctly. I think that the first person to ever make this farm was Zumavoid, but this was not his design. What is cool about this is that this is, this looks 
like a one wide design, completely one wide design because you don't need any type of walls to keep your chickens inside. Kinda do right, I'm, I'm a little bit cheat. I'm a little bit cheating right here because we have uh, this way for the babies uh, to hang out. You know what, I wonder if, I wonder if the babies jump high enough. This may all just work, this, I, I may be missing an opportunity here. Uh, I haven't done all the research here. I may be able to make it even, even less blocks uh, by having that dispenser fire directly into the cauldron and then keeping the babies in the cauldron and then the adults are so tall that they get hit by the lava. Anyway, the whole thing works really well. Uh, it's already been uh, creating some chicken, some cooked chicken. You got some feathers down there. Now, there you, you will see some raw chicken. One of the reasons I'm so intrigued about this new idea of of placing this right where those babies are is because every once in a while an adult will grow up and the these are the trap doors these trap doors will cause the adult to suffocate and they won't stick around long enough to get hit with that lava the lava will instantly burn them and also cook them so you should have cooked chicken you, you may have already i mean this is a really really popular design so if you've been around the minecraft community for a while this type of chicken farm is pretty normal to see and i just added this glass so that you can see all the redstone here uh that's powering it very simple design so that uh is actually that's all build number two can you believe it i gave you three builds for the price of one moving on to build number three this is a pig pen where the pigs cannot escape even though it looks like there is no type of thing keeping them inside of their muddy muddy pit this would is a really nice same thing to have like on a farm where you could have these pigs roaming around and it looks like oh they're just chilling in one spot they're chilling in a muddy patch because they're pigs because they like mud, oh, adorable. Well, the honey blocks are keeping them inside of here using that same behavior. So if a person gets in here also, you won't be able to jump out because this carpet is hiding all of the honey blocks. So anywhere that there is this carpet, then there is honey blocks underneath and even a player can't really jump out. Although a player is smart enough to stand over here on these actual blocks and then maybe do like a running jump out. So a real player, real person with actual intelligence could get out of this, but these silly pigs, they don't have the intelligence to be able to get out of it. And by the way, I have some carrots right here. Pigs, y'all, y'all want some carrots? You want some carrots? Okay, there you go. You've been very good pigs to me this entire time. Next, this is a, this is this this is how you're going to prank your friends. So right up here we have a sign treasure. Who could resist? It says treasure. Let me just make myself in game mode uh, survival for a moment. Treasure, I love treasure. I'm so glad. Also let me just uh, I'm just going to you know, I have a feeling I'm going to want to set my spawn point right here so I can get back to it. I'm just I just feeling treasure. I love treasure. Let's go get some treasure over here. <gasps> treasure right in this box. Oh my gosh, don't mind if I do. Ah, oh, what is that? Oh my gosh, run. Get out of here. What the heck? I can't leave. Oh, oh hey, I didn't even die. Okay, well next time we need to add a little bit more TNT. But you get the uh you get the whole idea is that you could totally booby trap something and give players an obvious way out with this, you know, this open area like okay obviously i'm not gonna go through the 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 bedrock the obsidian walls what is this even called you're gonna run over here and try to escape through the wood now like i said i need i need more tnt than i had because that was a kind of a small lame explosion that was a, that was really really sad but uh, if you added more TNT, they would try to jump over that block and they can't because of the uh, honey. Honey will not only work through carpet, it won't only work through cauldrons, but also slabs. So even a full half slab will be enough for you to not be able to jump on, which is just like insane to me that this entire block can be in the way and still, Ain't no jumping gonna be happening here, okay? I just I just broke my foot. Can't jump very high because of the honey underneath. So that is build number one, build number two, build number three, build number four. Now on to build number five. This is just a very, very simple flying machine. And I feel like you have to build a flying machine with the new honey blocks because they keep you attached. This isn't like the slime blocks that like bounce you around all over the place. 
Now these flying machines are super convenient because you can totally stand on them and there's no issues at all. For me, I have this little setup right here so I can just easily step right on off. And then when I'm ready to go back the other direction, you step right up onto this sl uh, sl I, slime, it's honey. S step right up onto that honey, hit a button, and then off we go. And this flying machine is dead simple. It is so absolutely simple. It is insane. So we're gonna go ahead and build it together once we get to the other side. There we go. So uh, all it requires is four honey blocks, two observers, and two sticky pistons. And you'll probably want some obsidian in order to stop yourself on the other side. Place down two obsidian and then, you know, look off to the edge just a bit and then go all the way over here to the other side to wherever you want it to stop and then place two more obsidian. Then you're gonna head back. You're gonna place down two honey blocks. Wherever your obsidian is, go ahead and place your observer, but make sure it's facing towards that obsidian. You're gonna put a button on that in just a moment. And then wherever your observer is, put a sticky piston. Then take two more honey blocks right there. Take a sticky piston and put it on the other side. So now you got double action. And right where you put that, put another observer facing the other way. So whenever a block right here is updated, this observer will fire, firing off this piston for a single tick and it'll push it forward. Uh, when that happens, this observer will notice it. It'll fire this piston for a single tick, pulling it all, the whole contraption back with it. So all you have to do now is add, I guess in my uh, quick list of items, I forgot to mention, you do need two stone buttons as well. And all you have to do is click that button. That observer will notice that something has happened and fire your uh, flying machine off. If you don't have obsidian, you could also be uh, an item with inventory. It just needs to be an immovable block for either slime or honey and then otherwise it'll just keep flying because that, that, that'd be a bummer and then you can push that again and it'll go back the other direction I think this is a super duper simple flying machine and you should definitely build a flying machine in the new Minecraft that has honey blocks there you go I hope you enjoyed my five very simple and effective builds for you to use in Minecraft also I hope you enjoyed the whole video if you did, please give this video a big ol' thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe for future videos, tips, tricks, tutorials, and spotlights here on OMG Craft. And I'll see you next time. Bye!